This is going to be short and fast. This is my sixth branch for the Holton 345. This is one of the Holton ferrules that solders into one of the other inner branches. And this is the tenon that I added to connect to my fifth valve. The fifth valve is simply the form, or the, uh, excuse me, the, uh, my cat just came in here and she's distracting me. This is the large side outer leg of the main tuning slide. And into that directly is soldered this Miraphone valve. The other side, going to the sixth branch, is another slide made from the same tubing set. It's just on the sixth branch as a tenon. So I can put this on like this. I'll put it on slightly sideways. And then there's going to be a brace here to the outside and a brace here to the inside and there'll be braces on the slides. When I get it in there I will push the slide and the valve back until everything locks in place and then screw it on. Uh, this is not focusing so well. Let me try and focus. Very, very good. Now this just goes to the main tuning slide. If I don't want to use a fifth valve for whatever reason I have this which is essentially the same set of tubes as this with this stuff inside as a spacer to take up the space of the valve from right here to about right there. So from here to here is a spacer. And all I'm going to do is with this spacer in here, when it's pushed all the way on, it's butting up against the tube on the inside, which means this inside bore is continuous all the way to about here. And then that is continuous. Let me move my stuff with the main tuning slide. This six branch goes in here like this. And because of me having some, well, let me see if I can do it. The grease is very thick. It has gotten cold in here tonight. And uh, the grease is like, you know, solid. It won't. Nothing moves, so I'm going to have trouble with this. It's not that the parts don't work, it's that the grease is like sludge. It's kind of frustrating. There we go. Now, this goes here. I can't get it there right now because of various issues with the fit. Let me see if I can do this better. Well, that didn't work. And I can't, I'm looking at my hands, I'm not looking at the camera. I don't have a tripod, so I am doing this with my Koenig & Meyer music stand. And the camera is just sitting on it. Now, this is how this goes. The way it works out, unfortunately, is this comes almost into contact up here. It actually sits about there. It goes right underneath the lead pipe port right here. Now... I created the other day my inner fourth slide, which is this guy, one inch long, a pull, it's a little longer than that, and then the crook goes around and comes downhill on that dog leg to line up with that. It goes around the top, right around here, and as this joins the bugle, this down here, we'll continue on as the lower fourth slide. It'll loop around, it'll come back up. Let me put this back some. Up the side. This is a pain in the ass. Pardon that. It will go on around, loop, go in here, and connect right there, which goes up to the fourth valve. That's it. That's how this all works. It's very simple, and that's why I think it'll work well. It's mechanically simple. There will be eight braces connecting the valve section to the tuba, and there will be four braces connecting the fifth valve section to the valve section and tuba. So nothing should... Uh, oops, I jiggled my music stand. Nothing should be a problem here, and I need to let you go because this thing's going to cut off soon. See, I wasn't kidding. It's on my music stand. How about that? Good night.